Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing EU4, the Third Rome, as Russia. So right now, we are in a war with Pomerania to uh, regain our personal union. They decided to break it. I didn't uh, pay enough attention to see why they decided to break it. But uh, we should fairly easily be able to gain it back. After we do that, we will then attack uh, Poland, Lithuania, and then Sweden. We will probably change our sights from. Oh, look at that! How cute! Change our sights from Europe to Asia. We may do some more attacking of the Ottomans to expand Serbia down into the rest of the Balkans. Maybe an attack on. Ragusa, and to give that to uh, to Serbia, and I think I may turn Serbia into a march, because I have no intention of annexing them. I don't think. So they will be a march, and will be stronger for it, and will help me more. And those are good things. occupying places. We can come back and see about occupying these couple around the edge. I wonder why Saxony is uh, doing things but not really attacking. Oh, look at that. Austria has decided to attack Serbia. Move down south. I think we'll let Austria do its stuff down here and our big concern honestly be to take all of Pomerania's provinces, in particular their capital. And that's what we're really working towards. So if this will fall, instead of going to astronomical percentages without actually being helpful, Right there, we'll go there as well. We finally won that siege, that's very nice. Let's head to Stolp. And bring this here, Bessarabia is under siege. Got people asking for access, because they're at war with Sweden, sure. Sure, you can have access to be at war with Sweden. While we were such good friends with Sweden for such a long time, Sweden is now my enemy, and we will do anything necessary to crush them. They are still occupying places, and honestly, it's fine. Let's uh, talk to them. Go ahead and see what the cost on that is. Russian vassal, no. Union, 60%. Okay. And we've got a self sustaining colony that's very nice. Our icon has been forgotten, so we can probably do another. And who is this? Well, they have moved. We have a self-sustaining colony, but we have occupied colonists. So we're going to recall this one and send it here. So they are now a tribe where I will have to actually have a Cassus Belli. That is a little sad, but oh well. We will have the uh, the big port of 
that San Francisco? I think it is. Anyway, let's head back over to Europe. Let's see exactly what's going on. Yeah, Serbia is being uh, squished considerably. Big thing here is taking the capital. We are working our way to it. The Saxony has started doing things. Also not all that concerned about them. Got some conversion going on, very nice. Uh, let's sort by unity. And well, we've got a few places that, I guess we're working on cores that we can't do anything with just yet. So we've got nothing but tens left, so let's uh, Let's see if we can get all of those tens knocked down. The Siege of Stolp is over with. Let's go to Seton and get their capital. That has taken things, so let's go and move there. We can even probably split these in half, and we're going to send you there split you in half and send you there. We will send you there. Our ticking war score continues to go down. I think what I will do is after getting Pomerania taken out we will divert an army up to take care of Saxony. If I can walk through to take care of Saxony down here, and start knocking out a handful of these allies. Coinsburg is over with, that's very nice. Danzig is done, send you there. And can we walk you to here? We can. Very nice. And, uh, yes, Bavaria is not part of this. Occupied a place. We're going to send you to Newmark. We've occupied another place. We're going to send you down here to. Sternberg. Where can we send you? We have reached a bottleneck. We can at least send you closer. Occupying more places and hopefully the capital should fall soon. Is that their capital? It is their capital. And it's going to take a while to siege down. Um, I've got the points. Hungary has declared war upon Austria. Very nice. I like that. Whether they win or lose, it really doesn't matter. They are helping. The siege of Seton is over. So how about we send you down here with your... Uh, cannons. So that one has more cannons. So we're going to send you there, and you there, and you there, and you there. So that army is there. We're going to send that one to here. Yeah, they're doing this stuff like it 
really matters to me. It doesn't. There's Serbia's army. It looks like we're even gaining men out of this war. Occupied a couple of places, that's very nice. Oh, and we've got a Pomeranian army, which, in a way, I would kind of like to preserve. This means that they'll be available for the next war. So what we're going to do is move you there, move you there, merge everyone up. This Arabia is done. We're going to merge you together. They're still going to go for it. It's unfortunate. There's the end of that battle. And we've got another self sustaining colony that's very nice. Put one up there. Which uh, should mean that we've got. There we go. And I believe we're going to send it down. So that these two meet up in this area. There will be two separate colonies, but they will be bordering each other. This alright is trying to take these territories from the Ottomans. That's perfectly fine with me. So with this done, we should probably send these armies into Saxony. As well, we got Salzburg. Where's Klon? It's Liege. Palatinate. There. Wow. Looks like they're funny. So really the only other major power is Austria. They do have problems. I hope that uh, Denmark or Hungary will be able to really help that out. But it doesn't look like it. Uh, so far, Austria is taking Hungarian territory. But that siege is over with. But we move you to here. We'll move this one there. Fortress is under siege. That's fine. Occupied places. And I think we will send one of these to there. We've lost military leader, that's a little sad. Afghanistan has fabricated claims. Do what? Afghanistan, what you doing? I'd like to be your friend. Are we improving relations here? Have we done that already? We should improve relations there. We've got a free diplomat. So I'm not looking to expand any further in uh, Ottoman territory here. May expand Georgia and definitely expand Serbia and take Constantinople, the rest of Thrace. Rising, that is a little sad. Looks like it won't do anything. They're not able to siege it down. On rivals, we had a claim on this thing. Sure, uh, let's see about talking to 
Saxony. I can force stuff out of them. I don't care about them being a vassal or forcing their religion. I do want money. They don't have any money. And they should give me trade power. And sure, end your alliance with Brandenburg. They won't take that. For 14 reasons, they'll get over that. Spy master has died. Let's see. Trade efficiency. Get trade efficiency. Gets us a little more cash. Let's see. We've got some rebellions. Nothing too serious. Uh like most of this honestly has to do with uh, war exhaustion. Wow. The war exhaustion really that high? No, it must be local. From them being occupied. Well, I guess we can use this army to begin sieging stuff here in the south back. These guys are all going for the north. Had my Pomerania. If I knock them out, I mean, it'll be okay. They won't be being annoying anymore. Should definitely send at least one of them back here. And leave one here in case Austria decides to come and attack. Marian Noble Rebels. Well, that's not cool. Saxony is occupying more places. And we've gained some cores. Very nice. Truth Brandenburg has expired. That's pretty good. Here, what exactly have we got going on? You should come try and take him. Looks like uh, Serbia is going ahead and trying to siege that down. Good for them. some conversion. We can now convert these. We should go for it. Lots of unity. It would be really nice if uh, this would advance or something. Saxony, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to take a second look. They still say no for six reasons. Pomerania, I don't know what they're doing, but okay. Colony damage, that's sad. Afghanistan, so we already have maximum relations with them. Hmm. For now, we will maintain our diplomat. We want their opinion of us to become better. This guy here in Georgia isn't really doing a whole lot. It's got siege weapons. Let's bring you here. What all have we got going on here? Yeah, we gotta do something about 
Saxony. Army is under attack. Yeah, I mean, or, or more accurately, I am attacking. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, Hungary is winning that war. I don't know if I actually want them to gain any power or not. There is an Austrian army. Where are they going? Up here. That's interesting. We could, at this point, see about attacking that. It's about a new leader. Not a terrific leader. We're ahead there. One more. 2021, so that's good. So yeah, we will. We have enough Diplo. Finish this out. That'll be great. So they are going to try to regain something. Leave them be. Hopefully this will finish at some point. Pomeranian noble rebels do their thing. Let Austria deal with them. That'll be nice. And we've got some more cores. The military leader is left. That is sad. He was a better leader. Ottomans are doing fabrication. Be great if this would ever fall. I've got the max on uh, on cannons. Our inquisitor has died. Well, let's replace him. So we will do the national tax modifier. What if we lose in seven? Finally, that's over with. Let's talk to Saxony. It'll give us all the things that we ask. And uh, enforce military access. So, yeah. We'll send that in. Though I'm going to be locked out. Oh no. That's very good. So let's. It's about a different leader, maybe? That's a little bit better. Yeah. Send you there and you there. going on here exactly. Saxony's out and it's now a matter of besieging all of this stuff. We will split you in half and move you there and split you in half and move you there and split you in half. And yeah, that's good. Is that yeah, they are moving here? This is very good. We should have one with siege equipment. At least more siege equipment. Move towards Serbia. See about taking those out. France is being a meanie butthead. Uh, diplomats returned. Let's head there and there. Okay. Siege ability. That's very nice. So we're both locked here. He's locked in coming down. I'll let him come to me. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. We'll deal with that soon. After we deal with the, uh, the Austrians. Alright, very nice. We only lost a few, they lost many more. So what we're going to do is split you in half, leave one of you there. And we're going to send you to here. Lovely, so we're occupying places. Send you up there. We'll send you around here. Ming is doing fabrication, and this war is lasting a bit longer than I thought it would. This is because Austria is in and is pulling down. The, uh, there's, uh, still not doing great. We're losing territory all over the place. Uh, Austria is big and is driving this number down. There's Aust Austria is still got high enthusiasm. Anyone else willing to just kind of white peace out? No? 20 reasons. 51 reasons. 5 reasons. 15, alright. We'll merge you guys back together. Find places, we'll move you up. We're just uh, flip flopping all over the place. It's great. And Pomerania no longer has an army. I was kind of hoping to avoid that. But, oh well. Where's Austria's capital? Right there. I'll send you here. See if we can get you to take their capital out. Then they will want to leave the war. We're going to leave you in the area in case anything pops up. Very nice, we are reoccupying places. And there is Pomeranian army. We will deal with it with that. Because they are purchasing mercenaries where they can. But since it looks like uh, the others are maybe taking care of some of the smaller stuff, why don't you head there? you up here, and whom was that is very nice. And I think just to rub salt into the wound, we will enforce our religion on Pomeranius. Maybe they will be less likely to do this again. I guess this is a mountain pass, so uh, having any battles here would be undesirable.
that one is Bavaria. Bavaria could be taken out easily. It's really Austria that's the problem. So we can begin merging everybody back up. And I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We'll see you next time.